from Colorado. It's test day. So I tried to sleep a little in, but it wasn't very easy. I don't know, maybe I've got test day jitters. I'm sleeping on this because I have new piercings or they take like 11 months to get better. So I need to sleep on that so I won't be sleeping on them. Okay, let's do this. I also always sleep with a pillow so I can <laughs> hug it like this. I don't feel like I'm so alone. Ah, oh, such a pretty day. This is my room. See, I sleep with a ton of things on my bed. Yeah, I just cleaned that out yesterday. So that's why things are in places where they shouldn't be. Oh, hello, good morning. Yeah, but I swear I'll put them in place at some point. <laughs> my morning routine um well i do the cupping maybe once in four days and yeah last i put some spf 50 so i'm ready to go outside on training days i always dress up by starting with a sports bra though i do like to wear joggers for breakfast so i'll change into my leggings later this one's been my favorite sports bra for ever from Change Lingerie. So supportive. <laughs> yeah. I also apparently need to do something about my hair. Mmm. Ooh. I guess I need to wash it today. For right now, I'll just brush it. And... a little dry shampoo. Trainer, most likely. It's so beautiful. I'm also completely in love with these vitamins. Jay's health. Super good. Bon appetit. This one I'm eating specifically for immunity at the moment because of coronavirus. And this is awesome for PMS. I always start my day with drinking at least this size of a glass of water. And the second thing I need is coffee. Yummy. I decided to go with some decaf coffee for now. For some options. To the Starbucks decaf. It would be regular ones too. Time to relax and breathe in. So, cheers, good morning. Mm. Oh, I just saw chipmunk. <gasps> Where did it go? They're the cutest ever. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things about this place. 
You've got like wildlife right outside your window. Anyway, now I'll eat and focus. I will actually call my coach who lives in Finland, my other coach. My other coach is still sleeping. Mm, he's upstairs. I'll enjoy my breakfast and get mentally prepared for the tests. Last bit of feeding up. Uh, <laughs> before we go. My theme for today is finding comfort in discomfort. This is something we talk about a lot in mountaineering and or with my coaches. And my sister, she's a performance coach at Hinta Performance, which is my dad's uh, company. He died uh, three years ago, but um, it's still up and running and it's very cool. So she was just talking about this topic with me and and how to prepare for um, prepare for a test or competition. I used to compete quite a bit myself when I was younger. I was a competitive cheerleader, but and I've always been super competitive. But now that it's like my own, we're setting a standard for a future um, future tests. So so it's a little different, but still you gotta give your best and treat it like a like a competition. So finding good balance with relaxing and comfort in the discomfort. That's what I'm going for. So now I just gotta decide which color to go with this one or this one today. Maybe this one because it's turkey hunting season and I don't wanna be mistaken for a turkey. So I'll be wearing cargo pants otherwise, or or like the what's the cargo color the anyway print so so yeah i need something right to balance it off let's go though i gotta change these testing day <laughs> Woo are you ready <laughs> are you ready yes there's really only one way to figure out how fit you are and how much you're improving in your fitness and that's testing and off we go. Here's Dawn. Say hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> so, I'm all fueled up with coffee and ate a popcorn bag yesterday. So, I think this is good. So, what is happening now is. But it's windy. But we're walking over to the test place, our testing grounds for a warm-up and apparently I'll uh, do like a four, four minute sprint mm -hmm. or something like that to get my heart rate up and then rest for a while and go twice for eight minutes yep, yep. as hard as I can and that way we can determine my lactic heart rate threshold. Heart rate threshold. And based on that, we'll figure out my heart rate zones. And also we'll be able to in the future to see how I if I perform better. <laughs> yeah, how much your fitness is progressing. Yes, how much my fitness is progressing. Oh yeah, it's camouflage. <laughs> The word I'm looking for, or I was looking for it with my pants. So trying to figure out what my race pace could be. So basically you have to remember we're gonna go down the hill and you're gonna go for eight minutes. So find that pace that you can maintain for eight minutes. All right, four minutes right now, just as a warm up up this hill. Steep, yeah, well, it is steep. Okay. All right, four minutes. The 
I feel. But this is gonna be hard. Yeah. Four minutes I is tough. I know you peed up there, so. <laughs> Great. Like, yeah. But I did that in two minutes and 15 seconds, so I went right. the so, back and. Yeah. So, so we're gonna have to go down the hill quite a bit more. Two minutes and 15 seconds, you're gonna have to go down the hill probably all the way. Yeah. Okay. All right, so grab your stuff and then let's walk down. I can taste blood. It's plasma, it's not blood, silly. Yeah. Well, people say that. <laughs> if you're bleeding good. from the lungs, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know, you know you're going good when you start bleeding from the lungs. Then I'll, then I'll, then I'll be happy with your effort. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna be happy if, you if I taste my blood or lungs? <laughs> if you start bleeding from the lungs. <laughs> goes so she's gonna try to find that perfect place right below her threshold so she can keep that pace for eight minutes it's gonna be tough the most important thing about testing is a really good heart rate monitor because we're using heart rate as a benchmark to test fitness and also to set your zones so having a chest heart rate monitor in my experience is a little bit more accurate than having one on your wrist however if you all you have is a wrist heart rate monitor that's fine too the other thing that you want is a stretch of land like a hill or a piece of property or a trail or something which goes up for as least as long as the test is if you have a piece of property or a trail that's undulating you're not going to you're going to have a little bit more difficulty maintaining that race pace so you want either flat ground or something that goes up like this hill right here for at least eight minutes optimally 20 minutes so first don told me that two rounds but he changed his mind it's three what a dictator okay hold him down Yeah, go, go, go. Uh, I collapse. Stay disciplined. Don't posture. Stay strong. Yeah, there you go. Relax. Relax into it. There you go. Good posture. No cheating. Nice. Big breaths. Get oxygenated. Well done. Yep. Sick. How'd that feel? Terrible. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. So one of the things that we try to practice doing is that when you're at your most exhausted point, is not posturing, not bending over, not falling down, but maintain, maintaining a real discipline in your posture. And you can see that Lata is doing that by relaxing, by walking around, by not cheating, and staying very disciplined in her posture. That is so that when we're in the mountains, we're climbing, we're really suffering, and you're in a precarious place, you can't afford to do that. You have to maintain your composure. So we've got some wildlife here. Uh, this is a mountain lion track because it doesn't have any claw prints and there's three lobes over there. One of the reasons why I don't train early in the morning because that's when they're hunting. To reward myself, I came over here to my playground. Let me check out these numbers. No animals. So 
we're back at the house and I need something to eat as well as I need to take a shower. Oh, that was so much fun. I love all kind of tests and competitions and, and yeah, even in school I always loved exams. But anyway, I need to shower, but I will put a conditioner in my hair for the time that I'll be um, preparing food and eating. So it'll penetrate into my hair really well. Oh, I use this one. So now I have the conditioner in my hair. And it is time to figure out what to eat. So after a few little mishaps along the way, I think we're gonna end up getting some food. I've never tried this kind of a recipe before, so let's see. This is what I usually do. It's mostly a hit or miss, but at least it's nutritious. Especially now that my um, training is my priority or my performance, I just emphasize uh, nutrition in my eating, though I do really like to eat good food. So I'm eating for performance, but <laughs> hope for the best. Mm -hmm. yum, yum, yum. Okay, so here we go. Good. Very good. Super oh. good. Woohoo! I nailed it. Accidentally nailed it. So a tiny change of plans. Instead of being sedentary here for the rest of the day, I decided that I'll go uh, work a little on the trails or the trail system that is around here on this property. So I'll we'll just have a cup of coffee and shower. Shower later. So what is happening is that we're building this trail system in here. And right now my job is to mark the trail. I am definitely tired after that test, so not sure how long I'll be able to do this. It's good recovery stuff, so just walking around a little bit. I will also be doing this. And so we're done with the trail. Uh, now I'll go back, back home and finally shower. I still have that conditioner in my hair. And then it's time to eat. <laughs> that felt nice. Kitchen. So I made some fried rice with eggs. There's some chicken, cheese, and then on the salad bed. tell you you're a super fun uncle and i'm saying this as a so it's time to go to bed thank you for hanging out with me today i had such a cool day super happy with my tests even though i didn't get the results yet but i'll get them soon mm -hmm.